Hey guys, this is Nevin here, and in this video, I'm going to cover how to set up a Google Ads campaign for your pressure washing business. It's very simple, very easy. Um, you do have to kind of follow a process in order to get good results. Um, and it's also important that you stick with the campaign. Don't just cut it after a week or two weeks because you're not getting the ideal results. Sometimes it does take a while for the campaign to optimize, um, you know, to get the results that you're looking for. So you have to be willing to, you know, put some money into it um, in order to make it work and stick with it for a while. So with that being said, I'm going to show you how I do it. Um, I have a few different campaigns running, but... Um, the campaign that uh, has been most effective for me, I don't actually have it set up uh, for conversions. All I'm really doing with this campaign is getting clicks, um, and those clicks uh, are extremely valuable, really, because not only am I getting traffic to the site that can help me uh, generate that traffic into leads, but it's also improving my domain authority, um, which a lot of people overlook when they run their ads. They're only looking at you know how many leads are they generating what they're not always uh, accounting for is their domain authority which has a big impact on your seo uh, so that's another huge advantage to driving quality traffic to the website uh, with that being said uh, i'm going to show you this one is only 22 dollars a day um, go back about a month i had it set at around 36 a day um, and then i came out with a few different ads like a video ad uh, so i took some budget away from this one and put it into that one um, and that one's been doing very well as well, but that's a video ad. That's not the purpose of this video. In this video, I'm going to cover a specific type of campaign. It's going to be uh, maximize conversions or a performance max, rather. Uh, so with that being said, before we get into the campaign, the very first thing you need to do is go to and create an audience. And it's very easy. The way I like to do it, uh, and, and to be honest, you can also, you don't even really have to do this. You, you could choose to just target um, you know, everyone over the age of, let's say, 28 or 26 or whatever. Um, and then you can also target top 50% income earners, I believe. Um, so you really don't have to create an audience. Um, you can also say, you know, people that are interested in, you know, any kind of service. But what I like to do, um, to make the list a little bit higher value, I like to target people who, um, in the last 30 to 60 days have made a search for pressure washing services or something along those lines um, so I think I have one on here um, go to uh, custom segments um, let's see here power washing search so this audience that I created here is you know people who have searched for these terms on Google and then you know house house pressure washing cleaning near me pressure washing in you know, this one's just kind of a demo one but you would also you could add many other um, you see Google will literally give you uh, different examples of search terms that you know users have searched for uh, but then you can also create another audience and I'll just I'll do this here you just call it um, interested in pressure washing and this is super valuable because um, with the campaign I'm going to show you, it's basically like all within one campaign. It's like setting up 10 campaigns uh, or more. And, and that'll make a little bit more sense once I actually get in and show you how to set it up. But it's extremely powerful if you do performance max. Um, I was a little bit reluctant to put this video out. I wanted to wait a little bit towards the end of the season, uh, mainly because pressure washing is my main breadwinner right now. It's my main thing. Um, and when I make videos like this, the last thing I want to do is have to compete with you know, local competitors, kind of copying what I do. I'm at a point now where a lot of my leads come from referrals anyways and um, you know repeat customers. So I'm not as reliant on Google Ads as I used to be. So I kind of just decided, you know what, I'll put it out there. Uh, probably won't get a ton of views anyway, so I'm not going to worry too much about it. But uh, with that being said, um, you can literally come in here and say, you know, people who have made a search for pressure washing or house washing, whatever, in the last however many days. Uh, and that's an extremely high value audience because that tells you right away that to some degree they're, they're interested in your services. So uh, you can add, um, let's just say pressure washing service pressure washer cleaning uh, I'll just enter that in there and then like I said Google will give you um, um, other examples here uh, and then you could also go you know, power washing service near me and just fill that 
time. Um, we also go you know, house washing. And you can go so on and so forth. I think you kind of get the point here. Um, I'm going to use one of the examples that I came up with, but I'll just go ahead and save that and show you how it'll work. Um, and it'll create the custom audience. So that's the first step. Now that you have your custom audience created, now you're actually going to go back and create your campaign. So you're going to just click all campaigns, click new campaign, just click new campaign. Um, and the way, the one I usually like to select is just website traffic and continue. And then this is where it's kind of sets you apart. It used to be the way I used to do ads. The first two years was just plain search ads. And then I obviously started getting into video ads too, which are highly effective, but performance max is like 10 times better than search or video ads alone because it's like combining video ads with search ads with display ads. Um, and I'll show you a little bit more about that here in just a second. We're just going to start your new campaign. Very simple, very easy. Let's give it a second to load up. Then you load in. You should probably spend at least 20 a day. Uh, that's probably a good start. And honestly, the way I like to say it is scared money doesn't make money. I mean, obviously, you've, you've all heard that before. But reality is $20 a day should be like a minimum because uh, that's only 600 a month and one or two house washes will pay for that um and it's like it's 20 bucks a day i mean you probably pay a helper 20 bucks an hour so um to me 20 bucks a day should be the minimum to get decent results and then you shouldn't be afraid to go up to you know 30 40 perhaps even 50 if, if you're getting good results um you, you can just go uh, for conversions again i really don't even target for conversions, all I'm really looking for is traffic, and, and it seems to work well for me. Then, of course, you want to set your location. So, you know, let's just say Harrisburg, whatever. Um, I typically wouldn't do this because this is too broad of an area. I like to target my specific locations. Um, but in this example, I'll, I'll, I'll use the broad example here. Um, under settings, there's really not too much you need to worry about here unless... Um, this is a little bit important. So the way uh, Performance Max campaigns work is that they're going to show your ad for, they're basically going to take all of the pages on your site. They're going to take the headlines that you have and they're going to show them as ads. And this is really one thing that separates uh, my ads. Let's see if I can get any of my ads to come up here. Let's go Homeless Town, if I could spell it correctly. Uh, you'll see here, here's one of my ads. It says insert insured pressure washing company, Homeless Town PA. Um, now, if I make a search for Gillsburg, uh, you can see we have, that this is actually the same exact campaign, not just the same company, but Gillsburg PA, uh, Eco Clean Power Washing. Um, and now in the old way, if you wanted to make it that possible, what you would have to do is create a separate campaign for each, um, for each keyword or each location. But if you make use of the SEO boosted website option, or you don't even have to do that. All you have to do is go into your website and create a landing page for, let's say, your top 20 service areas. Or you don't have to even put in that much work. Just make your top 10 service areas. Duplicate your you know service page for each service or just your homepage. And then basically the way it would work is the title of that page or the, the header on that page, the header one tag, would be something along the lines of, pressure washing services in and then whatever that city is um and so what google ads would do their performance max is they would pull that headline and use that headline mm -hmm. as a search ad uh which is incredible like i was saying earlier it's like putting 10 campaigns into one uh, in the old in the older way we would have had to create 10 separate campaigns if we wanted to specifically target each location uh, now you can do it all with one one campaign which is really nice um as you may be you're questioning what's the point of, of targeting you know why have a specific location? Well, if somebody is in Dillsburg, a lot of people are going to be more likely to want to pick a company, you know, that's targeting Dillsburg, has Dillsburg in the title, rather than if they had something like Harrisburg, which is like, you know, 20 minutes away, you'd rather work with a company that has Dillsburg advertised there. It's sort of just like a little psychological thing. So uh, that is Dillsburg. We could also try like a, another area and just say like Enola or whatever. And there it is. Same exact campaign. Fresh washing company, Nola PA. It's all part of the same campaign um, and highly effective. And so 
Um, with that being said, uh, that's just a little example uh, as to what this is. Now, you can choose to send only traffic to a specific URL. So, you know, if you have one specific offer, like if it's, you just want this campaign to target house washing, then you would add your house washing page there. Or if you just wanted to target roof cleaning, you could add your roof cleaning page. You could also do the same thing if you just wanted to target commercial. Um, I recommend doing this one because you're going to get much better results. Um, typically, uh, and I'll show you this uh, once I'm done with this, but usually when you set up a Google ad campaign, a search campaign, you're going to spend somewhere between 5 to $10 for a click on average. You may get a little more. Sometimes it may, maybe it'll be a little less. But typically, you're going to spend around uh, 5 to $10 per click. With the performance max, I'm spending around $0.33 cents per click. And it goes up and down. I, and I'll show you that um, the actual data so you can see that as well as soon as I'm finished creating this. But the point I'm trying to make is this literally the the title speaks for itself performance max and so that's why it's a relatively new campaign style um and it's highly effective um so with that being said i would send it to all relevant groups now right here is we're going to enter the page that you're sending traffic to um this could be your home page or again if it's house washing whatever um it, 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 this is really what this needs to be because we have URL expansion turned on. You really should just have this be your home page. Whatever your home page is, just throw that in there. And it's going to want you to put HTTP. Yeah. That's okay. Let's see here. And then this is what's really cool. It'll have you add up to 20 images. So you can either scan your website, and I think that's what I did in the order way. Uh, but the way I do this is go into Canva and take a bunch of your images. And this is just how I did it. So here's an image, 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 uh, here's one, here's one, here's one. So these are just images that I threw together inside of Canva. Super easy. Um, just pictures of my face, pictures of my logo. Really what I'm trying to do is embed my logo and my brand in, into these uh, customers' minds. Then you're going to uh, upload your logo. Let's see if I can't find that over here somewhere right here maybe. Um, go ahead and save that. Um, and then also videos. So videos are highly effective. You, you definitely need to get some video content. You can either pay somebody to create a good video for you or do what I did and just learn how to make videos. I mean, there's so many different apps now. All you need to do is, like when you're out on a job, record a before and after video. That's, how, that's literally all you have to do. Get any photo editing app, stitch them together, and then from there you can get creative if you want to or you can just leave it raw. You can add your logo, you can add music in the background, or whatever you want to do. But you need to get yourself some videos. So um, I'll typically just add in my videos. Um, and I have a bunch of other ones. You can see these are some of the ones that I've used. Uh, so I'll just grab some of those different videos that have worked well for us. Um, click Save. And what this is going to do, it's going to show it, you know, this audience that we created, these different video ads. Um, and it's also going to determine... Um, using their artificial intelligence, their algorithm, um, which videos, vi which video ads convert the best, and then it's going to show those ones more often. So if a specific video gets you know twice as many clicks as the others, that one's going to show more often. And it's the same way with the images that we use as well as the headlines. Now it's going to have you enter five headlines here. Um, so I'll just you know add the ones that auto populate or whatever. Um, but you also have to keep in mind that. Um, for the headlines, it's also going to pull headlines from whatever page. So if you have a page dedicated to a specific city that says like pressure washing services in a city, that specific uh, page or that specific headline will be pulled and Google will actually use that as the title for the ad, which is really, really nice. It's so, so easy. Um, and it's actually really great that they do that. It makes things 10 times better. I just go soft, soft washing service. I'm not putting a ton of effort into these, but you really should. Um, I I don't recommend doing things like number one rated and stuff like that because that's kind of cliche and 
it's kind of doesn't really mean anything. So I try to fill in like what keywords a, a user would actually be searching for. Um, also, another one is like, you know, pressure washing prices. Um, that's another one that, that does well in terms of getting clicks, um, you know, and get lowering your overall cost per click. And then you've got long headlines. Again, super easy. So I just do things like fucking power washing. Let's go. Spell licensed. Now this is just what people like to see. You know, they want to see licensed, insured, trained, stuff like that. Um, and then descriptions, same way. Um, I like it when they automatically fill it in, make things easy. Um, and then business name. So you can see how easy this is. You don't need to be some kind of uh, tech guru or like advanced with technology to make this happen. I also like to use call to action. I just like to leave it automated and let Google find what works best. You know, because they're, let's be real, their, um, their algorithm and their for, or, um, artificial intelligence is going to do much better job picking a campaign style that converts better than than I am just getting lucky with a campaign. So that's why I like to leave it automated um, and just let them uh, you know find what's going to work best. You don't need to worry about uh, display paths or anything like that. And then audience signal. Um, this is where you can sort of come in here and um, let's see here. Uh, this is a campaign that I had created uh, earlier, um, Mechanics for Pressure Washing, showing you how I did the audience earlier in terms of uh, creating an audience, you know, how you go through and, and you know, search for people who have recently made a search for pressure washing and things of that nature. Um, and this is really cool. This allows you to see what the ads look like. Um, it really what I want to do is I want to follow my customers around. I want them to see me if they're on YouTube watching a video, whether it be on their TV or on their phone or tablet, or computer, whatever. Um, I love YouTube because they have to sit through and watch my ad for five seconds. And so that five seconds is actually an eternity in terms of embedding your, um, your brand onto their mind. Uh, it, it put, you know, getting yourself embedded into their memory so that, you know, they may not rem remember you after the first impression, but if they're, if they start seeing you on a daily basis, uh, or even on like every other day or even on a weekly basis they're seeing your logo or your face um they're starting to feel like oh this must be a bigger company and, and they're just starting to develop unconscious trust for your brand it's a psychological principle um that robert cialdini talks about in his book persuasion um, or um, six principles of persuasion um but you know with that being besides the point that's kind of the logic behind it that's kind of what i'm going for um although yes i want clicks and i want traffic to my site i also want to embed my brand um into the minds of you know the people in my local area and so if they're on youtube they're on gmail they're on google search they're on websites that have google adsense turned on they're seeing my face right so that's really what i'm going for so you can see this is what it would look like on youtube if they're on mobile the ad would pop up this is what it would look like on inside Gmail, if they get, you know, an ad in there on Google search, that's kind of what it would look like display ads, which are extremely underrated. That's what it would look like there. Discover. That's what it would uh, look like there. Again, I think it's also a little underrated. And then you would simply click next, turn on call state extension. It's probably worth it. Uh, you can add a lead form. I don't. I, uh, and then also your site link extensions. That's all self-explanatory. I'm not going to dive into that. I've, I've covered that, you know, in the past, but that's all self-explanatory you click it you can follow along pretty easily just go ahead and click next and then at this point you know now that we connected our audience we know who we're targeting um we've you know we've got the audience set up and i showed you at the very beginning how to create your audience um, you're ready to publish all right and that's how easy it is it only takes you you know maybe 10 15 minutes if you really sit down and do it um and uh well if you, if you factor in the time that it takes to actually create the ads, and that's another extremely underrated part of, in my opinion, the entire campaign. Um, because when you go through and actually uh, create the campaign, you need to put a lot of effort into it. You need images and videos and, and headlines that are actually going to stop people on their tracks and, and hook their attention just enough to, 
even if it's been you know five or ten seconds looking at your ad or or to click a link um, that it seems like a lot of people underestimate that and they overlook it um, don't overlook that I mean spend some quality time creating graphics that look good on canva and there's already a bunch of pre-made templates i have a bunch of pre-made templates you can use as well same thing with your videos really put a big emphasis on creating quality videos for your business you know it's not even hard all you need to do is a before and after video or explainer video it's, it's that easy you don't need to you know spend hundreds of dollars um to create a video um and then same thing with your headlines uh, i recommend on your site go through and like I said create a landing page for every city don't just list your cities on your site that's sort of what like an amateur would do if you really want to dominate in those search areas in those areas then you need to have a landing page for each of your main service locations you know where it says house washing services in and whatever the location is that needs to be the h1 tag as well as the title tag those carry the most weight um, over everything so it's super important that you have that and um, yeah, guys, that's pretty much all there is to it. I know I didn't cover the ad creative. Maybe at some point I will show you, you know, how to create the graphics and everything. But that, in my opinion, is all self-explanatory. I mean, there's hundreds of videos on YouTube that cover those kinds of things. So I don't want to spend too much time on that. Um, but with that being said, guys, that's really all there is to it. Hopefully this video helps. Thanks for watching and have a great day.